This is a quick show and tell how to convert a donut image taken with your Pano Pro into an equirectangular image using Photoshop. First, we need to open our donut image. Here we have one. Next thing we need to do is select the area with, which is illustrated by the mirror. We'll take the ellipse tool and we'll create an ellipse about the right size. We're now going to right click just to position it correctly. There you go, you can adjust the width and height of it here. And that's three times on. We'll click that. Next, we're going to right click on the line and make selection. Leave the feather radius at zero and here list. Okay. We want to select the inverse now to get rid of all the outer edges. So select inverse, that gets rid of this. We'll edit it and then clear. Now we need to crop this down so that our image fills a square canvas. We'll just do this. And again, up here. Select that. Now we can perform the polar conversion on it. So we go to filter, distort, polar coordinates, make sure that it's polar to rectangular, click OK. There we go. Now we need to invert this to get it back up the right way. So we'll just rotate it by 180 degrees. And now we need to resize it. Again, yeah, we go to image. Image size, we want to resize it so the width remains the same, so that's 100%, but the height is resized to 36%. Like so. Now, all that's remained is to crop the area that we don't want to use, like the black area at the bottom and the top. Again, we go to crop. Now, I'm going to start just outside this to make sure. That I don't crop any of the ends of this away. If the ends are cropped, you end up with a stitch or a seam line when you wrap it back up into a circle. So there we go, that's what I was saying there. And there we have our rectangular image ready to put into a player or to a hosting. All that's required now is to save it as a JPEG. Now I'm going to save as unwrapped image. And there we go. Simple as that. Very quick, very easy and a good result. Thank you.